Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And if you've already done so, just make sure that it's still active. Anyone who's ever read the back of their WWE ticket knows the card is subject to change without notice. Here are 16 times a WWE superstar was replaced at the last minute in pay-per-views. Number 16, Nikki Cross, Money in the Bank 2019. It's been a while since we saw Alexa Bliss perform in the ring. To be precise, she hasn't been seen on Raw since her win over Bayley of the Raw after WrestleMania. Dave Meltzer, who first broke the news, said, Alexa Bliss, from what I understand, the actual medical condition that WWE has released internally is undisclosed, and undisclosed has become a euphemism for concussion. This doesn't mean for sure that it's a concussion, although it's been reported by several people that it is a concussion, and certainly that would be the one you'd expect, and she did throw up after taking a bad bump, and that often also means a concussion. Although Alexa Bliss denies any such rumors, it's evident WWE cannot afford to take any chances, and hence roped in Nikki Cross to take her spot. Nikki was among the eight wrestlers in the Money in the Bank ladder match for the Women's Championship match contract. Number 15. Mick Foley – Royal Rumble 2004 The Royal Rumble has always been about surprises. Whether it's wrestlers returning to compete in the WWE or new superstars debuting, in 2004, the WWE saw one of the biggest returns when a mystery man laid out Test backstage. Stone Cold Steve Austin discovered Test and his assailant, ordering his assailant to take Test's spot in the Rumble. The mystery man's music played and the fans went crazy as they welcomed Mick Foley back to the WWE. Foley went after his nemesis Randy Orton, the hardcore legend seeking payback after Orton had accused him of cowardice just weeks before. This surprise appearance would lead to Foley's feud with Randy Orton over the next few months. Number 14. Kurt Angle, TLC 2017 Fans have been speculating if and when Kurt Angle would step back into a WWE ring ever since his induction in the 2017 Hall of Fame. However, with Angle apparently happy in his role as Raw General Manager, there was no telling whether Angle would ever return. Things changed after a medical crisis involving Roman Reigns led to the WWE's Olympic hero lacing up his boots again after an 11-year absence from the ring. Three WWE superstars were reportedly laid up by a viral infection, possibly the mumps, forcing Reigns out of the highly anticipated Shield reunion at the TLC pay-per-view. Not wanting to disappoint the fans, the WWE inserted Angle into the match. Despite the big dog's absence, the fans got an action-packed match, with Angle helping Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose go on to victory. Number 13. Shane McMahon – Survivor Series 2016 Shane O'Mac has always been a favorite with WWE fans, bringing his energy and Daredevil's willingness to take any bump to please them. Thus, it's no surprise when WWE higher-ups put Shane into the lineup for 2016's Survivor Series in order to liven up the card. Prior to the pay-per-view, Daniel Bryan picked his five-man team, which saw AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, and Baron Corbin. At the start of the show, all men were in the middle of the ring with Shane McMahon alongside them. The commissioner issued a six-man tag team match involving all five of the Survivor Series members, only for Corbin to refuse and leave the ring. This then led to the Lone Wolf being put into a singles match against the returning Kalisto. The bout ended with Corbin suffering an injury, which is believed to be a work, to his knee, ruling him out of Survivor Series. At the end of the show, Brian confirmed that Corbin was out and that he had to find a replacement. His replacement was none other than Shane McMahon. Despite the packed roster for SmackDown Live, Brian refused to pick another full-time wrestler and instead opted for a part-time guy in McMahon for the simple reason that he is a McMahon. Shane's SmackDown team would go on to defeat Raw's team in the main event. Number 12. The Big Show – Survivor Series 1999 1999 saw one of the biggest surprises ever, both literally and figuratively, when The Big Show replaced Stone Cold Steve Austin in the triple threat match for the WWF Championship between The Rock and Triple H. Although the Bionic Redneck was advertised for the main event, he was scheduled for neck surgery and would be out of action for some time. This led to the WWF writing Austin out by having a mystery driver run him over before the match, leading to Show replacing him. 
This worked out well for the Big Show as he not only replaced Austin, but won his first ever WWF Championship after defeating The Rock and The Game. Number 11. Razor Ramon In Your House 4, 1995 Oozing with machismo, Scott Hall quickly won over WWF fans with his Razor Ramon character, turning face and becoming one of the company's rising stars. Razor was called upon to save the day at 1995's In Your House 4 pay-per-view after Shawn Michaels' real-life ass-whooping sidelined him from his Intercontinental Championship defense against Dean Douglas. In case you didn't know, Shawn Michaels got beat up by a bunch of Marines a couple of weeks prior to the event. Interim President Gorilla Monsoon stripped Shawn Michaels and the Intercontinental title was awarded to Shane Douglas. WWF wasn't going to rob fans of a match, though. Therefore, they had Douglas defend the IC belt against Razor, with the bad guy promptly winning the belt. Number 10. Just About Everyone – The Great American Bash 2006 The days of wrestlers working hurt, regardless of whether they can push their intestines back into their gut, are long gone with the WWE taking WWE superstars' physical conditions much more into consideration. In 2006, a streak of bad luck saw a slew of superstars forced to sit out the Great American Bash. That year's bash was supposed to feature Batista vs. Mark Henry, The Undertaker vs. The Great Khali in a Punjabi prison match, Gregory Helms vs. Super Crazy, and Finley vs. William Regal vs. Bobby Lashley in a triple threat match. That changed thanks to Murphy's Law, which states, if something can go wrong, it will. Judge Murphy was in full effect as Mark Henry hurt his knee just days before the event, leading to Mr. Kennedy taking his spot. That was just the beginning, as the great Kali, Super Crazy, and Bobby Lashley all were forced out due to elevated liver enzyme levels. Kali was replaced by The Big Show, giving the Punjabi prison match between The Undertaker and The Big Show an international flavor. Matt Hardy took over for Super Crazy, and the triple threat match changed to a one-on-one -on -one battle between Finley and Regal. While some fans have seen the medically-based replacements as a sign of divine intervention and improving the card thanks to Kali and Mark Henry's absences, this is mere speculation. Number 9. Bobby Lashley and Umaga 2007 was the year of the domino effect, and no, we don't mean deuce and domino. The domino effect is a cumulative effect produced when one event initiates a succession of similar events. That's what happened after Triple H blew his quad out yet again, this time during a match with Shawn Michaels against Rated RKO at 2007's New Year's Revolution pay-per-view. This began a chain of events that reportedly rearranged the card at WrestleMania 23 considerably. Shawn Michaels was rumored to be Donald Trump's proxy for the battle of the billionaires between him and Vince McMahon. With Triple H out, Shawn Michaels was moved into Triple H's spot against John Cena, forcing the WWE to replace him with Bobby Lashley. Booker T was supposed to be Vince McMahon's proxy, but he too was replaced, in this case by the Samoan savage Umaga. Booker T was replaced as Vince McMahon wanted to elevate the careers of upcoming stars like Umaga and Bobby Lashley by giving them the stage of WrestleMania. Despite the reshuffling, the Battle of the Billionaires became a WrestleMania moment, with both Lashley and Umaga benefiting from their appearances in this high-profile match. Number 8. The Ultimate Warrior SummerSlam 1988 1988 saw the debut of the WWF's pay-per-view SummerSlam and one of the greatest surprises in WWF history. The Honky Tonk Man was riding high as Intercontinental Champion, having set a record as the longest reigning champion in WWF history. The cool, cocky, and bad champion was scheduled for a title defense against Brutus Beefcake, but Beefcake had been knocked out of action thanks to a storyline beatdown by Cowboy Ron Bass. With no scheduled opponent, the Honky Tonk Man made the mistake of a lifetime, calling out anyone in the back to face him. The soon-to-be former champion learned a lesson in humility as the Ultimate Warrior ran out to the ring, dispensing the champion in under a minute, becoming the new Intercontinental Champion. Number 7. Mr. Perfect and Jerry Lawler Survivor Series 1993 Back in the 1990s, Vince McMahon used to boast anything can happen in the WWF. Never was this truer than at 1993's Survivor Series, where Randy Savage had to step in to take over for Mr. Perfect, who'd suffered a back injury. Randy Savage got involved in a 4-on-4 Survivor Series elimination match where he teamed up with the 1-2-3 kid, Marty Jannetty, and Razor Ramon to defeat Adam Bomb, Diesel, Erwin R. Scheister, and Rick Martel with Harvey Whippleman. 
On the other hand, in another encounter, the original plan was for the Hearts to face Jerry Lawler, with whom they were feuding, but Lawler was not able to appear at the event, having been fired for being indicted for raping a 13-year-old girl. Shawn Michaels, who was suspended at the time, replaced him for his traditional Survivor Series elimination match. Shawn Michaels and his knights, the Black Knight, the Blue Knight, and the Red Knight, were convincingly defeated by the Hart family, Bret Hart, Bruce Hart, Keith Hart, and Owen Hart. Number 6. Tamina Snuka – Beast in the East 2015 The WWE's Beast in the East event saw Brock Lesnar wrestle his first non-pay-per-view match in the WWE in over a decade. On the undercard, Divas champion Nikki Bella was scheduled to defend the belt against Naomi and Paige in a triple threat match. That is, until Naomi had a death in her family, leading to her having to fly home. Apparently, Tamina Snuka was the only option in Japan, so she worked the match, counting the lights for Nikki. In the immortal words of Al Snow, pin me, pay me. Number 5. Johnny Nitro – Vengeance, Night of Champions 2007 WWE fans are still shocked by the tragic events hovering over 2007's Vengeance Night of Champions show, where Chris Benoit mysteriously withdrew from his match with CM Punk for the vacant ECW Championship. Unless you've just awakened from cryogenic sleep, you're well aware of the horrific reasons for Benoit's absence, so we won't rehash bad memories. With Benoit gone, the WWE had Johnny Nitro battle Punk for the belt, winning the championship and leading to Nitro's transformation from tag team star into single star John Morrison. The Shaman of Sexy's ECW win would be a high point in his WWE singles career. Number 4. Eric Rowan – Survivor Series 2014 Despite being a member of the Wyatt family, Eric Rowan has struggled to establish any identity of his own. In 2014, Rowan seemed to have an opportunity when Sheamus was injured, leading to the WWE needing a replacement for John Cena's Survivor Series team. This led to Rowan making a surprise appearance on Cena's team, despite the fact that Cena's team was battling a team that included Wyatt family member Luke Harper. Sadly for Rowan, he didn't do much in the match and was ultimately put back into the Wyatt family, making his departure meaningless. Number 3. Seth Rollins – SmackDown Live House Show 2017 the Architect gave fans in Vancouver, Canada an unexpected treat when he showed up at a SmackDown Live house show last June, replacing Shinsuke Nakamura after the artist had trouble crossing the border into Canada. The WWE announced that Raw superstar Seth Rollins had been drafted to face Jinder Mahal, giving the SmackDown Live fans a rare glimpse at a rare match between a star from Raw and a star from SmackDown. Number 2. Mark Henry – Elimination Chamber 2015 the Elimination Chamber has typically involved World Championships, but 2015's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view saw the Intercontinental Championship being defended inside Satan's prison for the first time. The WWE Tag Team Championship would also be defended in the Chamber in another match on the card. Intercontinental Champion Daniel Bryan had been forced to vacate the title due to injury, leading to the belt being up for grabs. Rusev was scheduled as one of the participants until a broken foot took him out of action. The Bulgarian Brute was replaced by the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, but the match would be won by Ryback, with Daniel Bryan handing the belt over to the big guy. Number 1. AJ Styles – TLC 2017 Roman Reigns wasn't the only WWE superstar knocked out of TLC pay-per-view. When Bray Wyatt was removed due to a rumored viral infection, the WWE wanted to give the WWE Universe a suitable replacement for him against Finn Balor. WWE fans got to see a dream match as AJ Styles stepped in, battling Finn Balor in a struggle between two former leaders of New Japan Pro Wrestling's infamous Bullet Club faction. To no one's surprise, the two put on an amazing show, dazzling the fans with their athleticism, ring work, and undeniable chemistry. This would be the first time Styles and Balor clashed against each other in the WWE, but you can be certain the fans are eager to see them work again. As you can see, the show must go on even when the top stars are laid up. Are there any replacements we missed? Be sure to leave your comments and like our video. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our previous video 20 embarrassing WWE bloopers or mistakes that actually aired. Also check out our other high rated videos by clicking at the upper right hand corner or down in the description field. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss a single new video. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, thank you for watching.